My name is Steve Smith. This is QA Weekly. If you ever get questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can interact with others on this episode, past others. Find other ways of subscribing, and of course, using a contact form, email me directly. And if you're already on YouTube, the comments box is down below. And if you want to make this show better, get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance for everyone else, go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash TQA Weekly. Become a patron today. And this week's topic is actually a suggestion from Cardafan-YouTube, who asks, how does Pokemon Go work with GPS? And I have to answer this because apparently I inherited the Pokemon curse by actually talking about it last week. And the only way to lift it was to actually explain how it works with GPS. To which I say, challenge accepted. Actually, you're kind of wrong. So first of all, we're all playing with cell phones. Cell phones don't actually use GPS per se. They use something called assisted GPS. There is no way in hell a lot of us running around in cities could reliably get a GPS signal there above us. And large, big, towering buildings would make it kind of hard for us to get a GPS signal to begin with. So a lot of places around the world would kind of be, you know, unnavigatable. So what ends up happening is we use assisted GPS, which relies on the satellites as well as the cell towers, because you're probably more likely to get a cell signal than a GPS coordinate from outer space. So what ends up happening is that with assisted GPS, we get more accurate definition of where we are in relation to the world. This is the tracking part of Pokemon Go. However, like I said last week, this is an augmented reality game. It uses far more sensors than just GPS. It also uses the accelerometer, the clock, compass, and unless you are like me and turn off AR mode, the camera. So yes, if you haven't already figured this out, you can turn off the camera since this game is going to probably eat your battery alive. Turning off the camera will kind of save a little bit of your battery. But what ends up happening is the AGPS allows you to figure out where you are in the world. Some of the Pokemon are actually related to the kind of environment around you. So water Pokemon would be closer to the river. Now, obviously there's actually Pokemon that come out during the daytime only or during the nighttime. So there's also the clock factor. So as long as the clock is functioning correctly, which they can probably figure out, you'll actually get different Pokemon based on the time of day. And while you're hunting them down, when you click on them, the reason why you can point your phone in any direction to figure out where they are is because of the accelerometer and of course the compass. Because the camera on the phone doesn't know where it's pointing, but the compass in the phone does. So combined with the compass, the clock, the accelerometer, and the AGPS chip, as well as if you left it on the camera, you can hunt your heart away to finding all the Pokemon you want by using a device that replaces quite a few gadgets to begin with. And I hope this actually lifts the curse, Cardafan hyphen you too. But on top of all this, apparently there are other things such as you are apparently able to communicate with this company if your business doesn't want people hunting around. Maybe it's very dangerous for people to be around that area so they can quarantine spots off. Apparently they have special places that we all know called arenas and Pokestops, but apparently you can also determine for them or suggest to them Pokemon stops for yourself. So you're going to have to communicate with them for that. But if you see a place that should be marked off as a Pokestop, you apparently can. And although this has yet to be confirmed, apparently at one point you may also be able to trade Pokemon. Whether this will be with people next to you or with people inside a friends list, we don't know yet. But it is unconfirmed and it would be really cool if we have multiple ones and we want to trade for other ones. Hopefully you like this episode, Cardafan hyphen YouTube and everyone else actually listening to this show so like it if you did it did it uh dislike if you didn't don't forget to share this episode and if you haven't already done so which carter fan hyphen youtube has subscribe to the show and if you want to make this show better and get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else 
go to patreon.com slash TQA Weekly and become a patron today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.